So Kim Kardashian, just to, go, to round back to her, um, here's the report on her. She was introduced to the current creative director with whom the responsibility does ultimately lie, in my view, um, Dema Vasalia, by her ex, Kanye West, along with the couple's daughters, who also like to sport this brand. Um, they were recently spotted the children carrying four-figure bags from Balenciaga. All right, so you've got children, her, Kim Kardashian's children, wearing thousand-dollar bags from Balenciaga, from Balenciaga. And now Kim Kardashian comes out. First, she comes out with a statement on Sunday, saying, "Well, I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been shocked and outraged by the campaigns, but I wanted the opportunity to speak to their team to understand my, for myself how this could have happened. Who gives a shit how it happened? Just, yeah. just put out a statement. It's deeply wrong, and I will speak with them. But this is effed up. It's yeah. really not that hard." Right. Um, she's too busy trying to get criminals out of jail. That's what that's her new business. Yeah. Um, so, so she wasn't able to do it. She says, I've been shaken. But now I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue. Then she got into the hands of some PR person who was like, that was a dumbass statement. And she tries to beef it up by adding the words. I've be- I'm disgusted, not just outraged. I'm disgusted. And uh, the safety of children must be held in the highest regard and should have no place in our society. She adds, moreover, any attempts to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society. I mean, a lawyer, a real lawyer got a hold of her. She's not a real lawyer. She hasn't pressed the bar. Then she says, as for my future with Balenciaga, I'm currently reevaluating my relationship, basing it off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should never have happened to begin with. You were part of it. You wore the stupid black veil. You put your kids in Balenciaga. You've been seeing them with the teddy bears. They did the thing with the Supreme Court opinion. They did the thing with the little girls. That, like, what do you mean? Reevaluating. What is to reevaluate? They're sorry. They're sorry now because people like you, Carrie, made a thing out of it. It's become a PR nightmare for them. You're exactly right. She thought that this would go away. She could enjoy her Thanksgiving with her family, and it's not going away. In fact, we're doubling down, Kim. We're doubling down. You are the problem. You have ruined an entire generation of women. I'm sorry. Let's be real. You have completely yes. destroyed women. Yes. You've sexualized women. You have destroyed a generation of women. Because you pimp yourself out, you pimp your kids out, and you're disgusted. You don't represent women. You don't represent beauty. You're the furthest thing from that. Let's think back. She to launched her career. Exactly. She launched her career with a sex tape, which she then pretended was released against her will. But her partner in that video has come out publicly saying that they worked on it together and Kris Jenner marketed it like a pimp. That's what happened. Then she invented selfie culture by manipulating herself in gross and distorted and obviously fake ways, then denied it to a generation of little girls who felt less than because they thought this was a beauty standard because she's in the beauty business. And yet, unlike, I will give kudos to Bethany Frankel, who has been open about talking about the things that she's had done or would like to have done because she says, I'm in the beauty business and I think I owe it to my audience, to be honest. Exactly the opposite of the Kardashians. The country's made her a billionaire and she can't be bothered to do the right thing when the circumstances are staring her dead in the face. She's exploited her own children. She's her just the same way her mother exploited her. And now she she doesn't see the ethical lines. But thank God people like you see them. And I don't think Balenciaga is going to get away with this. I think the blowback will continue. And if this is a PR stunt, they'll soon be out of business. Well, like a lot of people these days, I am trying to eat healthier. And that is one of the reasons why I love good olive oil. And by good, I mean fresh. Olive oil packs the most flavor and the healthiest nutrients when it's fresh from the farm. And that is the problem with supermarket olive oils. They're not fresh. They can sit on the shelf for many months growing stale. That's why I like my olive oil direct from small, award-winning farms thanks to a guy named T.J. Robinson, also known as the Olive Oil Hunter. When I first tasted T.J.'s farm fresh oils, I fell in love with their vibrant flavors. They are delicious on salad, veggies, pasta, meat, fish, you name it. And as an introduction to his fresh-pressed olive oil club, T.J.'s willing to send you a full-size $39 bottle of one of the world's finest artisanal olive oils for just $1 to help them cover shipping. Best of all, there's never a commitment to buy anything, and you can cancel your membership at any time. Get your free $39 bottle for just $1 shipping and taste the difference freshness makes. It really does. Go to harvestfreshnow.com. That's harvestfreshnow.com for a free bottle and pay just $1 in shipping. Harvestfreshnow.com. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.